Before I'm gacha for inhibitor or not, I will try to understand how um, his uh, ability works and all the stuff. So I will see uh, in uh, this video. Uh, this uh, the new keeping up with Star Rail. So this is about uh, inhibitor or not. So. Let's see, uh, the last time I cannot <laughs> forcing it into my head, but I hope now I can understand. So let's go. Our all. Come on. What you? I forget. I forget. The last time I'm using a slow motion. Bruh these three here together to fight under the noonday sun what caused these horns to sprout from the head of the mortally wounded and whence came this power to split the ocean thus revealing an ancient city once lost to the waters of time is this a miracle of medicine or a power as yet unknown in today's program, we'll be getting closer to the mysterious past of a familiar okay. face. I'm talking about Don Hong and Baby Delune. Oh, your face. I'm talking about Don Hong and Baby Delune. Imbibator. Imbibator. Man, it's so so hard to spelling it. Like uh, Dan Hong I L. A lot of people say that Dan Hong R L. I L. I L. Today's hard. guest claims to know all about him by Bertolune's power. Please welcome Miss March 7th! Wow. Hi everyone, oh. that's me! And yeah, I could sense Don Hung's secret strength before we even got to Bellabog. Really? Yep, nothing gets past me. <laughs> Is everyone thinking? I remember uh, in uh, <laughs> in um, Will Did Stick. Nothing can pass my bow. Okay, let's go. You're a psychic? <clears throat> and Barbara Lune is an imaginary type character following the path of destruction. With his video strength, he is able to command water at will, channeling tides into devastating attacks. And Barbara Lune's basic attack, Beneficent Lotus, is a two hit combo that deals imaginary damage to a single target. Aww, Got it. I used to have a yo yo. <clears throat> His skill, Drake or Libre, liberates his power in stages, thereby enhancing his basic attack. This ability doesn't consume skill points or constitute using a skill, but selecting the basic attack button consumes corresponding enhancement. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let's go back a bit. <clears throat> his skill, Drake or Libre, liberates his power in stages, thereby enhancing his basic attack. This ability doesn't consume. This ability doesn't consume skill points or constitute using a, a skill. Skill points or constitute using a skill, but selecting the basic attack button consumes corresponding enhanced layers of skill points. Oh, yeah, yeah, got it, got it. So there's a layer of, of uh, skill. But selecting the basic attack button consumes corresponding enhanced layers of skill points. By consuming a skill point to use transcendence, he delivers a three hit combo dealing damage to a single target. Transcendence, enhanced layers of skill points. When consuming a skill point to use Transcendence, he delivers a three-hit combo dealing damage to a single target. Ooh! What's different with, uh, with the... With the one with, uh, and has the basic attack. Let's... If I press the basic attack, it's gonna attacking the, the enemy. And if I want to, uh, uh, and has the basic attack i should use skill 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 three time or one one two or three but how can i have this one this one is still pressing the skill like you can enhance layers of skill points when consuming a skill point to use transcendence he delivers a three hit combo dealing damage to a single target Ooh. i don't understand at all <laughs> when consuming two skill points to use divine spear and Oh, th that's the first one. Got it, bruh. Barbara Lune delivers a five hit combo, dealing damage to a single target. Adjacent enemies also receive damage starting from the fourth hit. Nice! 
when consuming three skill points to use Fulgrim Leap. And Vibrata Lune delivers a seven hit combo, dealing damage to a single target. Adjacent enemies also receive damage starting from the fourth hit. It's worth mentioning that starting from the fourth hit, every hit of both Divine Spear and Fulgrant Leap may receive a buff. This buff increases his crit damage, lasts until the end of the turn, and stacks up to a set limit. Huh? Is someone on fire? March 7th, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I just never knew Don Hung's secret strength was so complicated. Wait a second, you fought side by side with this guy. It's in this old yeah. news to you. Uh, in the heat of the moment, we're protecting each other. I can't remember every detail. <laughs> Let's get back on track. And Barbara Lunay's talent, Righteous Heart, allows him to increase his damage dealt after every hit. This talent stacks up to a set limit and lasts until the end of the turn. Oh, I get it. Oh. The more hits he lands, the stronger his yo-yo becomes. In the interest of science, yeah. I'm obliged to point out that that isn't a yo-yo. But I would like to know what Imbiber Lune calls it. During exploration, when he uses his technique, Heaven Quilling Prisma Dracon, he enters a leaping dragon state. Using an attack causes him to lunge forwards a set distance, blocking all attacks. Whoa! Oh, that's gonna come in handy next time we're on a wanted list. Are you planning on being on a wanted list? Anyway, this move isn't just about making an escape. If Imbiber de Lune attacks an enemy and enters battle while in the leaping dragon state, he deals imaginary damage to all enemies and acquires a set amount of Squamous and Crescenta. This can be used to offset Imbiber de Lune's skill point consumption. Squamous yeah, and Crescenta. The second layer of uh, skill. Oh, interesting. How can I uh, replace it without using the, the technique? Sancta stacks up to a set limit. When Imbiber de Lune unleashes his ultimate, the Azure Dragon descends in a deluge, cleansing the mortal world of impurities. Oh, if he'd used that during spring cleaning, we'd be done in no time. Imbiber de Lune deals a three-hit combo, dealing imaginary damage as well as obtaining a set amount of Squama Sancta Sancta. Ooh, a group of adversaries have decided to block the path of our young hero. <sighs> yeah, see, we always get this kind of welcome. <laughs> and they always yeah. live to regret it. Imbiber de Lune uses his skill twice, enhancing his basic attack in the process. He leaps into the air and launches a hail of spears. But enemy reinforcements are quick to arrive, and these ones look a little scarier. <laughs> To Don Hung, he'll squish him in no time. And Barbara de Lune looks composed as he unleashes his ultimate. He inflicts serious damage on the enemy and acquires Squamous Sacred Sanctum. Yeah, one more attack and these guys will be packing their bags. In a flash, and Barbara de Lune consumes his skill points and Squamous Sacred Sanctum, enhancing his basic attack three times. He casts Fulgrim Leap, unleashing a roaring flood, washing his enemies away. <laughs> Hope you brought your life jackets. Don Hung's secret strength is secretly super, super duper strong. But do you know about his other secret strength? <laughs> what? I've never told anyone about it. Ooh, sounds uh, like we're in for some breaking right. news, Trailblazers. Listen to this. Don Hung can hold his breath underwater for more than a hundred minutes. Can't everybody ought to do that? Oh, yeah. Um. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh. It's quite interesting. I'm not really understood all, but overall, yeah. It's kind of like a <laughs> man. My brain is more like more uh, in line with <laughs> with him. Uh, not him. With Mark Seven. <laughs> the more Dan Hang attack. The more he have, uh, mo uh, the more uh, his attack is, uh, being amplified. So that's that's the basic. <laughs> so thank you so much for everyone who watching this video. I think I'm understand now how uh, Dan Hang works. So uh, after this, I'm gonna probably alive and hope can gacha him. So thank you so much. Ampai makalapan. Uh, I will see you again in the next video. See you again. Bye.